All right, it's day two. Uh, I've got 11 guys on the ground here, two tow trucks. I've got two trailers, uh, a land all, and a forklift. So we're gonna try to logistically get all 18 cars out of here. Come show, let me show you what I'm doing here. First car, it's not out yet though, so I'm not going to celebrate it. Hey, we got two out already. Uh, guys are all working right now. This is kind of what we have to do on deals like this because we can't figure out what goes to what parts go to what cars. So. This Woody's going to be a donor car for, I think, a 47 Pontiac. It looks like there's some other stuff in the 60s in there. Um, the problem we got here is we have to move things three and four times just to get to a car. Like, this washer was here before. Now we're going to have to move it again to get that car out of here. So that corner over there is the, where our goal is to get cleared out. All the wood and all the other bullshit's going to go over here. And then this corner over here is where all the stuff from this area is going to go. So two down and uh, 16 more to go. I don't even know what it is. We gotta find out later. Three, three out. Wait, because there's such a small forklift. Trying to get people, even that 170 pounds is going to be a little bit better. Oh, no, it's good. All right, guys, you too. We don't know if this thing's going to air up tires or not, so I was going to maybe hook my truck up to it and yank it back, but if, the, if a tow truck can fit back here, we might just try to suck it up on the back because it's pretty tight in there, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens. That was the toughest one so far. Now we got number seven. Number seven, dude. Ten more. This one, uh, actually, if we can go from the front of the house, it's a lot easier to get these cars out, so this fork was sure saving our ass. So this super huge hoarder. So we're having right now, we just got the garage open. We gotta get all this stuff kind of out at an, at an L right here. So we can pull that, that uh, Packard out. And then we're gonna have to somehow try to get that 53 Pontiac convertible out sideways. It's okay, you can be on TV. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, this is the fun part right here. Okay, so we're almost at the halfway point right now. We got eight cars. That's number eight right there. Uh, 17 total in here. Uh, right here is the tough part, though, because we got maneuverability in here, but like now we have to get the chainsaw working. We're cutting most of that tree down. If you can see, we have to clean up around all these cars just to see where we can actually hook up to them, hook chains to them. And everything is kind of kitty cornered weird. Like this, this car has got to come out for that car to come forward because the tree, I don't know if it grew there while it's been there or 
he just parked it there. There's no way to get it out. So that car's got to come forward. And then it's a total nightmare once you get inside that area over there. So we'll have to, you'll have to see that in the film when we get to it. We're almost done, dude. We have one car left. Check this out. Actually, there's two cars. Check this out. So this one we had to get out of here. This is one of the trickier ones. The limo came out right here, and then we had to get this car out, which there was zero space against that fence and zero space against this wall. But as you can see, I don't even think we even touched it. This is the last two cars we got in here. I don't know why these guys are not working right now, but I'm gonna find out for a second. We'll get used to that. Uh, this is the last car we're getting out of here. So it's taking us five hours, two tow trucks, one forklift, about 10 men, and uh, we got all 17, maybe 18 cars out of here. But uh, look at the backyard now, totally different than when we started. If this one gets on safely, I'm not gonna say that uh, this is a pretty heavy load right here. We gotta load it sideways on the truck, but we got all the parts and the cars out. Pretty good day so far. By the way, if you guys want any information on any of these cars that you've seen coming out of this backyard, you can go to 800-905-8024 or go to dvap.com. Just go ahead and ask a request on what you're looking for and we'll get you an answer on it.